Mega Man 2 was like the perfect sequel to Mega Man. The original Mega Man game didn't sell particularly well, but the development team still wanted to make a sequel, so Capcom said, all right, you guys want to do it, here's the money, but you can only make it in your spare time. So they still had other games they had to make, but then when they were done with that, they would start working on Mega Man 2. That is love. Mega Man 2 has got to be the easiest Mega Man game that they've ever made. If Mega Man 1 frustrated the hell out of you, Mega Man 2 is definitely going to give you a nicer experience. But there's more going on here. You have sub-weapons. You know, the, the, the uh, progenitor of, like, the Rush uh, system, you know? We now have things like the energy tank, where you can pick up these tanks and collect energy to store it for a later use when you need it. It also has the best music in any Mega Man game, by far, in mm -hmm. my opinion, and yours too. It's because it's driving, and it's uh, hard, and it keeps you invested in the game. It keeps you going forward. I really like the stage designs in Mega Man too. You know, got the Bubble Man with the uh, eye-piercing water, the Flashman stage with the blinking ice going all mm -hmm. around. Trying to outrun the dragon, jumping from block to block, and then he takes up the whole thing, you gotta jump from block to block to shoot him. It's tense. And it was like, this is what did it. This is what took that franchise off, man. Sure, we could argue about which is the best Mega Man. Is it Mega Man 3? Is it Mega Man 2? Is it Mega Man 1? But let's not argue. It's 2. Done.